It is October 12th, 2047, approximately 24 years since the Battle of Belgium. Since then, I have grown a lot as a leader, and as a person. I missed out on the invasion of America because I stayed behind in Belgium. The invasion was not without its casualties. Jake drowned during the swim to America. Kyle and Carl nearly did too, because the swimming was too exhausting for them. It was up to Michael to carry them on his back as he swam. When they arrived, Michael rested for six days because of how tired he was from the journey. In the meantime, Kyle and Carl began the invasion on their own. Unfortunately, Kyle was lost to a US nuke along with the entire city of Cleveland. On the seventh day, Michael awoke to avenge Kyle. In under a month, the entire United States and Canada surrendered. After the war, the territory was split up between the remaining three of us. Carl took all of Canada and Alaska and some parts of Europe. Michael got most of the United States and the parts of Europe that he conquered. Finally, Supercoolistan was only given South Dakota and Belgium. I was fine with this. I never actually wanted to be the ruler of a giant empire. I only wanted to get revenge on the Belgian hacker who stole from my family. Though I never did end up figuring out who it was. I took what I had though, and ended up ruling Supercoolistan to the best of my ability. After that weird phase I went through as a teenager was over, Supercoolistan started to become a rich and prosperous country. Unfortunately, history may not end well for us. Just this morning, I received word that Michael had stepped foot in Belgium and stepped his other foot in South Dakota. Carl and immediately came to our aid, though I highly doubt even they could stand up against Michael. Currently, I am preparing to say farewell to my citizens. Dear citizens, this will likely be the final broadcast of Super Coolest on National Television. Michael entered our country a couple of minutes ago, and there is nothing we or even our ally Carlin can do to stop him. Please stand for the anthem of our republic. And no matter what happens, no matter who wins, no matter which dictator replaces the current one, always remember this. Super Cool Stand is real.